Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new flashback Chiellini car to review today. So another center back review, not really big on doing center back reviews because at some point when these cards do get significantly upgraded, um, most of them are just really, really good to use depending on the situation of the card. So with Chiellini, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at a card that is six foot two, medium high work rates, left footed, two star skimmels with a three star weak foot. So uh, the fact that he's a left-footed player will really depend on what type of goal-scoring opportunities you want to block the most. Do you think that people like to cut inside mostly, or do you think people like to go on the outside mostly, right? So each of those things will really depend on where you should use the card. Um, if you want to be able to pass the ball consistently, it might be more ideal to use him as a left center back so that you can kind of do those turns and then just pass his left foot to the outside positions. Because normally if you're playing a left footed player on the right side and they go for a right footed pass, the pass isn't as good, you know, pushing the ball out to the uh, the full backs, right? So just food for thought in regards to that. Um, his in games, he's got long throw in for, uh, for traits. He's got injury prone and he's got power header. So power header is okay. You know, if you do a corner from time to time and he's able to get it, not too bad. Uh, now, in regards to his in-game, so there's a lot of discussion in regards to what chemistry style makes sense to give him. The shadow is the one that makes the most sense because of uh, the acceleration and sprint speed boost. Because of the fact that, you know, it's the, the acceleration and sprint speed is formatted in a way where it kind of forces you to give him the shadow. Although, improving the dribbling would have been nice, right? So, he's got 76 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, a plus 15, 10, in this case an 8. Um, is definitely very important for a card like this. Um, he's got no shooting capabilities. Passing on the card, he's got 87 short passing, 87 long passing, 80 curve, which is decent for a center back. He does have 99 composure, so with the dribbling stats that he has, I don't expect him to be a quick dribbler, but I feel like the 99 reactions could actually compensate for his quote-unquote little bit of sluggish play and it's not gonna be like that crazy because he's a center back that has decent dribbling stats to be honest um but it's more about like the movement moving left and right going forward coming back really quickly all that fun stuff right uh defending on the card is essentially perfect the shadow chemistry style is boosting some things for sure but it's mostly the pace that we're looking at improving but regardless he's still getting boost for defending and then his physical is pretty much perfect the 70 stamina is not an issue because he's gonna be playing in the center back position mostly the only time that he will be uh losing any sort of stamina is if he's pushing back into the center back position from the corners now in regards to how this team is set up, both of these guys are medium high work rate players. So we're going to be playing very generic FIFA. I'm not going to be attacking too much. I'm going to be like kind of like nonchalantly playing the game, if anything, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to be using the. Let me go ahead and make my own team because I think this might be his main team. I could be wrong. So let me go ahead and select this squad, copy it, and we'll make our own stuff going on over here. So uh, I do want to line up with the three at the back formation to try them out in the center back position in regards to chasing after players, all that fun stuff, especially with the shadow chemistry style. So we're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 as the generic formation. Uh, probably be doing 5-5, five and 5-4 five, five and four balance. Yeah, I would say that. Formation, let's see what's going on over here. So Keeling is going to be playing the right center back position. Um, let's put him in the left center back position for now. See what's up with that. Danilo is really good. So that little link up that they have there is really nice with Ronaldo, especially. Um, instructions. We'll have some aggressive stuff going on over here. So we'll have join the attack for these guys. Uh, we'll do the same thing as on Varane. These guys can go ahead and push forward. Cut pass lanes will make them more aggressive. Cover wing. Uh, cover wing to make the middle a little bit open. Drop between defenders. Get forward for that. Get forward. Cut pass lanes. Cover wing. And then these guys can be on balance, not necessarily a big deal. So that's for the 4-2-3-1. Uh, we're also going to be using the 3 at the back. 3 at the back is the one I, I like to use the most because I can kind of like feel out the movement of the player. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it on constant pressure, fast buildups, just so we can get some movement. A um, little bit of high depth. Constant pressure will, be, will allow me to see what he's like pushing forward. And then when I select him, pushing back. So that's why I like using it. So I just have to remember it's the defensive and the ultra attacking one. So... Let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he is uh, fun to use at the very least because for nowadays, I feel like his dribbling might be a little bit low, but he's definitely a very usable uh, Juventus card to use in that position because the lid's pretty nice too, but regardless, it's like a different card, right? So.
All right, guys, so we'll switch to the uh, three at the back first. Uh, a lot of players are out of position, so it'll allow me to uh, check out Chiellini's card in regards to certain movements, so we'll see. I'm kind of curious about his movement. Okay, so he does have a sloppy presence to him, right? You can definitely see it. Every touch he does, it's a little bit emphasized and stuff, so it is something that you will notice with this card for sure. Uh, so always be careful with that one using this card. See? Huge emphasis. Not even holding our trigger. No holding the dash button right there. So that is a characteristic that you may just have to deal with on the card. I mean, you could give him an engine chemistry style for sure, but he definitely requires the pace upgrade on the card. So it's kind of tough to say like, hey, this is what you should do, right? So because he needs the acceleration boost unless you're playing like super low defense. All right, let's see what his position is like here. No second man press. Marks the runner, stays in position really well. We'll switch to him instantly. Nice little tackle. We kind of timed that a little bit late right there. His acceleration wasn't too bad uh, because his movement before I even selected him, he was already making the run. So very, very important for him to do that for me to be able to defend nicely. Um, but we did do a bad challenge there. It was a little bit late, so... Yeah, just don't dribble with this card. If you're going to be using the Shadow Chemistry style, don't dribble with him. Like, just do, like, really quick dribbles, you know what I'm saying? Touch and go, touch and go. Alright. Let's see what his positioning is like here. No second man press. Just going to hold the Conte right here. Marks the runner really well. We'll switch right here. Get the ball. A little bit of pressure with the other defender for Keeling to get into position. So positioning in a three at the back formation, he does actually mark the runners really well. So his base card stats for defending is actually pretty solid. Um, because, you know, you give him the Shadow Chemistry style, but he already has some pretty good uh, base characteristics, right? His, uh, his defending is pretty nice in regards to tracking after players. It's not like generic, it doesn't run out of position that often. So that's usually the case with players that have like really good defensive stats at this point. A little bit of a weird challenge right there. Wish it was a little bit more possession-based, but the game's weird a little bit in regards to possession-based tackles. Score a nice little finesse shot there at Messi. Nicely done. This transitioning is not that bad, actually. Like the LTRT with the Shadow Chemistry style, it's okay. And in regards to his dribbling stats so far, like I said, I'm noticing I'm noticing it more for when he actually has the ball at his feet more than it is like his defensive presence, right? Dribbling, you do have to compensate for a little bit in regards to like responsiveness though, so always be careful with that for him. If you don't give him an engine chemistry style. A little bit of out of position here. Okay, there we go. Okay, that was just me holding the yellow trigger. Nice little shield. Animation. He blocks the ball really nicely there. Kind of like stops it in place too, which was nice. So one thing that I noticed so far with Chiellini's card right now, guys, is honestly that I do think the dribbling part of the card is definitely a nuisance because in regards to him being a full meta card or a really good center back, that's always going to be an issue for sure. He can always make like the generic tackles that could be good from time to time, but that's going to be a thing with most center backs that have really good base stats for uh defending right so to be fair he actually didn't do a bad pass under pressure right there i can't wait to like not like have to do content for gameplay stuff on this game anymore because i'm telling you man whoever coded this attacking ai and defensive ai in this game are they have to be the lowest form of intelligence on planet Earth because the fact that the this tactic where it's either like it's it's a team press or it's something where every single player gets marked and your attacking AI does absolutely nothing against it is just blows my mind, man. All right, let's see what he's like chasing after players. Yeah, so you can tell he's kind of slow. He's not like an agile player at all. So it's... Uh, it's a combination of his 
His base card stats for dribbling is not there. His base card stats for acceleration is not there. So if he had like maybe like an 80 acceleration with better dribbling stats in different areas, I feel like you'd be able to chase after players a little better. So, you know, if you're using like a three at the back formation, definitely not necessarily going to be ideal to use a card like this. You want to be able to use cards like uh, Diego Carlos, Ether Millie Town to be able to move quickly with this agile presence. Like Chiellini won't really offer that to you. So that's a big... Uh, big nuisance on the card in regards to in-game performance. Is he a usable center back because of the stats that he has for base card stats? Yes, absolutely. But in regards to him being like close to meta, that will be a huge influence in regards to him being good or bad. And um, unfortunately, it'll make the card not great in regards to very, very specific situations, right? So... There you go, nice little gold there, Ribri. Yeah, so with Kilini's card, boys, um, it's it's you can't use any of these like pressure on heavy touch tactics. Like if you use balanced, that's fine. But even if he's caught out of position, you can't really expect him to, you know be able to catch up to somebody at any point. Like, it's just not really going to happen with a card like this. He'll offer you, like, a good generic defensive presence, but that's pretty much all he's going to really offer you, you know? You see what Danilo does right there as a right back? That's what you'd want a Chiellini card to do, or a center back card at all to do, right? Um, a Chiellini won't often do that for you, right? We'll take that ball. Nice little generic defensive play there. See, it's the turns too, man. Let's see if I can clear that at least. Nope. It falls to the floor as well. Gonna concede that one too. Yeah. It's just the... It's the running after animation. He will not be able to do that for you. You know what I'm saying? Danilo, like, it was very... It was the, it was a huge noticeable difference when uh, he was able to catch up to that dude. And center backs are like that too. Like, obviously, Sergio Ramos, um, Diego Carlos, those guys. Really, really good at doing stuff like that. All right, guys, so final verdict on the flashback Keelini card. Uh, it's a usable version of his card. Uh, the thing about this card is that there's just a few things here and there that just doesn't make him like a full meta center back, right? It's the fact that his base card stats for his pace, it doesn't really work that well with the dribbling stats that he has as well. In regards to uh, chasing after a player, he's not going to be able to offer you that really agile presence to be able to do that. Players that are really good to use in the defensive areas, kind of like players that feel like a center back and fullback hybrid uh, that can play through the middle. You know, players like Ether Militao, Sergio Ramos, those guys play really well through the center back position because of that specific type of defensive presence that they have, right? Uh, Chiellini's not really going to offer that to you. So a couple situations with this card. If you give him an engine chemistry style, maybe he'll feel better on the ball and off the ball. But if you play with him on the engine chemistry style, you definitely need to make sure that you play on lower depth. You know, the garbage meta in this game, right? Um, if you use him with a shadow chemistry style, it's the one that I still will recommend the most because the thing about this card is that you're going to most most likely use him in like very generic formations and tactics. Like for instance, if I were to use him in like a 4-2-3-1 where he's playing next to another center back, I feel like he'll be able to perform pretty decently. Like I'm not going to say that he's a terrible card because he's not. But when I do center back reviews, I want to test them and see what they're like individually, right? That's why we like to use the three at the back formation because I want to see if he can kind of compensate when other players might not be able to. If you play with him in a 4-2-3-1, playing next to somebody else that's also a medium high work rate player, five and five for defensive tactics with balance instructions, uh, he's not really going to be a terrible player for you. He's on shadow chemistry style, he'll be fine. But you will notice an issue with his defensive animations being sloppy as well in regards to defensive animations to block the ball, right? Like when you use players like Ramos at Emily Town, those guys, uh, it's the quickness of how they do those animations to receive possession of the ball and keep it going that also makes a very big difference. So if you do this card, I would say it's mostly for sentimental value or for the usable concept. Because like I said, if he's like a Portuguese center back, like if this was like a... 
I don't know, like a, a Fonte card, I would do the card myself. But for 77K, you can't go wrong for the concept of the card, but not necessarily like, you know, in-game value. Like, I don't think he's an amazing center back, but he's definitely incredibly usable for what Chiellini is because he doesn't have any other cards. So he's Chiellini's a legend of the sport. You use him for that, but uh, not in regards to crazy in-game quality. So hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.